We haven't begun to see the suffering that Jesus told John about in Revelations. Amen. We're on the outer edge, amen, looking into what is going to be something, amen, to experience for those that are still here, leading up, amen, to the second coming of Christ. Right. When he takes the church out. So look at the name of the neighbor. It's important that I establish myself in the house of God. Because if you're not established in the house of God, when he comes in the blinking of an eye and snatches away the church, amen, you're going to miss it. And there are a lot of folks focused on the wrong stuff. The reason why you see so much confusion in the world because Satan is playing his end game. His end game is to get you so wrapped up in the world and what's going on in the world till you miss the coming of the Lord. Yeah. Say so. Wow. People, amen, are so involved and invested in the world until they're not even thinking about eternity anymore. That's right. They're not thinking about, amen, their existence outside of this realm. This is only temporary. If you live to be 200 years old, it's like a grain of sand on the beach in time. It's not going to last forever. Nothing does. I said earlier, amen, the body, man, when it's born, amen, it's born with no, it's born mostly pain free. In most cases. Now, there are some cases where the devil gets involved in the birth of a child, amen, and they're born with deficiencies and, and dysfunctions, amen. But the majority of, of, the, of the babies that are born, amen, Sister Mary did it for years, they come in here with five fingers, I mean, ten fingers, ten toes, two ears, a nose, two eyes. They don't come here all deformed, amen, and they have normal growth patterns where they grow in, in spurts, amen, and they reach a certain age of maturity, and they step out, amen, and begin to walk, amen, all these different things. They go through the, the natural stages, but there are some things in the supernatural right. that people are still in. Yeah. Right. Oh, my goodness. Mm. It amazes me, amen, the amount of people that say that they are Christians but have no knowledge of the one that they serve. Yeah. Wow. The depth of their understanding of who he is is limited. So true. Their personal relationship, amen, is almost non-existent. Okay. They depend on the prayers, amen, of others more than their relationship with God. Jesus. And your relationship with God is the most important thing on this plane yes, of existence. Yes, if I don't, amen, get myself in a place where I hear his voice clearly yeah. and I'm so humble in my nature that I obey him speedily I'm going to miss him, amen when he busts the clouds of glory, amen in that instant, amen, and yeah. snatches the church out alright, alright All right. All right. thank you Lord yep, me Jesus. we worry about the wrong things yes we do, yes, Lord. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. the birds of the air yeah. have nests that's right. Come on, break it down. They don't play. plant. Make it plain. They don't sow. Woo. But God feeds them Woo. every day. Yes. I got some cats in my yard that aggravate my last nerve. <laughs> <laughs> but they know, bro, that every day my wife cooks ex excessive food, amen. And when we don't eat it all, it goes out the door. And they make their path. <laughs> Every day. Not someday. They make that path to the house every day just to check. I hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to y'all in the natural so y'all can maybe understand the supernatural. If they have enough sense to know that provision is there at the house. How is it, amen, that we don't know provision is in the house of God? They don't doubt that something is going to be there that they can consume that day. If they wouldn't make it to the house every day. They come by every, and they don't got bold now. They know that when the cars come in the house at night, amen, that the car is warm on top. So they make them a house on top of my car. And it bothers me to no end. Oh, 
They know that engine is warm and they hop up on the car, amen. Little scratches everywhere, hallelujah. And they sit down and make themselves comfortable. I drive up in the yard and they bop, 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 and they look around like what? <laughs> Don't move. They ain't trying to move. It's like what? Y'all feed me every day. I might as well get comfortable. How is it amen, that God can feed us every day? And even God can provide for our needs every day. But sometimes we get amnesia like what? That's right. Good, Pastor. I hope I'm, I'm preaching pretty good right now. <laughs> preaching better than the amen, amen. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting up toward that the other number. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna live to be past a hundred years old. And if I do get a hoop and a holler every now and then, it'll be all right. But I'm concerned, amen, about your walk with the Lord. There is a deception in the world right now. That God is dead. That God never existed. There's a misconception amen, that God amen, cannot provide for your needs. There is no God. But I got news for you. God is very much alive. <laughs> and he's very much in charge. Regardless of what it looks like. Everything is going according to his plan, not our plan. Amen. It, 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 it boggles the mind of how people worry about things that they have no control over. Yeah. And they spend hours talking about it every day. So right. And the reason why they talk about it, Sister Kwan, they're trying to convince me that their way is right and my way is wrong. So what I do is I spend less time listening to them and spend more time in the Word of God. It's time, amen, to put down the television, put down the internet, put down all that stuff, and get real familiar with God because you're going to need Him in this season. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's good. We are going to need Him in this season. Lies and deceptions are on the rise. People don't know what to believe. They don't know what to believe. They don't know what to believe. They are deceived, amen, and don't even realize they're being deceived. Yeah. Yeah. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew chapter 24. Begin reading at the 34th verse. 32nd verse. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender. As soon as the twigs on the tree get tender. And its leaves come out. And the leaves begin to come out. You know that summer is near. You know that spring is going to turn into summer. All right. Read. Even so, when you see. Here's the paradox. Even so, when you see what? All these things that he talked about, amen, in the last days, this is going to happen. In the last days, that is going to happen. In the last days, and all these things are coming to pass in our season of life. Read. You know that it is near right at the door. You know that his coming is near. It's right at the door. The devil's plan is to get my mind off of God's coming. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Sister Mary, he wants me to be so wrapped up in the world and invested in the world till I miss his coming. Oh, mm. Show enough right about it. Jesus. And his coming is at the door. Yes. Yes. It's almost here. Amen. The church is about to be raptured out in a season, amen, where most people are not even coming to church anymore. Right about it. And they're trying to convince you you're crazy for going. And a lot of people are believing the lie. 
Right. You're going to church, but he ain't doing nothing for you. You're going to church, but you still got problems. You're going to church, but your body's still racking with pain from time to time. You're going to church, but you still got a bad report from the doctor. You're going to church, but your bills are still behind. You're going to church, but this ain't working and that ain't working. They're trying to convince you that God has forgotten about you. And that's a lie from the pits yes, of hell. Yes, 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 it is. is. No, that's right. He has not forgotten us. He's still making provision for me every day. I got more now than I ever had in my life. I was sitting there, amen, and, I, and, I, and, 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 and every now and then you got to take inventory, Dad. Every now and then you got to take inventory. Just, just start looking around and say, you know, I got two eyes I can see with. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Because I've seen some people, amen, that they got they got two eyes that they can't see. I, I, I got two ears and I can hear real good. Yeah. And, and some folks, man, got two ears and they can't hear nothing. Yeah. I, I, I got a mouth, amen, that I can talk. And some folks can't put two words together because the stroke that knocked their voice box out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we, got, we got all these things that God is doing for us every day, but see, like we get getting amnesia about the good stuff, amen, and we only think about what we don't have. Because the world says you ought to have this, and the world says you ought to have that, and the world says you ought to have this, and the world says you ought to have that. But I got news for you, I don't need all that. Oh, that's right. Woo. Oh, Jesus. Preach the gospel, Pastor. Would a Bentley be nice? Yes, but I don't need a Bentley to live. Oh, Would a house in a gated community be nice? Yes, but I ain't got to have one to be alright. Oh, that's right. Jesus. Right. Jesus. The world, amen, has got a aura about it that people want more of it. Because it deals with our senses and not our spirit. The eye gate, amen, Looks like things that it shouldn't be looking at. Right. The ears listen at stuff it shouldn't be listening at. Right. Because it sounds good and feels good to the flesh. Yeah. My Lord. The saints of God gotta be weary and wary yes. of what is going on around you. Yeah. Look at this, the neighbor. neighbor. All that stuff is nice. Stuff is nice. But I don't need it to exist need on this plane. Whatever God chooses to bless me with, and whatever season he chooses to bless me in it, it's all right with me. Because he's going to make sure I got enough for where I am right now. The problem is we want so much until when we don't get what we want. God goes on the back burner. You know, if God, amen, is like my genie in the bottle, and every time I whisper and rub it in the right way, amen, he just gives me what I want, then then then, then God won't be God. That's right. I'll be God. Amen. Uh, this this good word. You might want to take some notes. Read, 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 read. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. This generation. This generation. Will certainly not pass away until all things have happened. We are the generation that all things are going to happen in Sister Abinette. In our lifetime. Yes. In our generation. It is not going to be another thousand years from now before it's coming. It's going to be in our generation. We don't know the exact day, the exact time, or the exact hour in which he's going to appear, but he's going to appear in our generation. Yes. Before you reach my age, son, God is going to come amen, and snatch the church out of this existence. Jesus. Yes. But the biggest problem is that death has increased his efforts. This is the thing that you need to worry about. Death is on assignment. Yes. And he's snatching millions every week out of this earth. He's on an assignment system, man. He's snatching millions out every week. And, and because we have become so accustomed to death, amen, in our, in our generation, we don't, amen, pay attention to what God is allowing death to do. So you don't have to be sick to die now. In horse and buggy day, you didn't have wrecks. <laughs> Oh, preach now. In horse and buggy days, you didn't have.
have accidents every time you turn around and people dying in an automobile accident. You, you didn't have that because in the horse and buggy days, I mean, you had to be real drunk. <laughs> to have a wreck in a horse and buggy. <laughs> you didn't have some of the diseases now that they had then. And death, amen, has enlarged his territory. Yes, yes. He's got all kinds of ways to take you out. Yes. Suicide is on the rise. Yes. Yes. Some of y'all say it could never happen to me, huh? except for the grace of God. Yes. You, see, you don't know what kind of stress people get under, amen, put themselves under, amen, and, and allow them, their minds to be deceived by the enemy because constantly talking to them, amen, day and night, saying, you, what are you living for? Come on, tell them like it is. Your life is not getting any better, amen. Yeah. Things are not getting any better. So what are you living for? Just, just, just go ahead on and end it. And folks, amen, listen to that foolishness, amen, day in and day out. And after a while, they take their lives, and everybody's shocked, like, wow. I never knew they felt that way. I never knew that they were like that. I would have talked to them if I only knew. I work with them every day. I never knew they had a mind. You better be glad they just decided to take their own life and not everybody else in that area. Because the way the devil works now, he makes you not only kill yourself, but everybody else around you before you kill yourself. So, since we don't know what death is, Come on. it behooves me to stay in the presence of the Lord. That's right. So that when death comes to me, right. he comes only because God said, come and take them out of this existence into the next existence. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Read. Heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will never but pass away. But my words will never pass away. Oh, Look at the neighbor. That's a sure word. That's a sure word. For me. That no matter what other folks are saying, no matter what the media is saying, what some newscaster is saying, what, what, it, it doesn't matter amen, what, I, what I see on internet, it doesn't matter what I see on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it doesn't matter what I see in any of that stuff, amen. His word, amen, is firm and it is true. Yes, it is. If he said it, he's big enough to bring it to pass. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. No one knows about the day or the hour. That's right. Look at James' neighbor. Neighbor. Since we don't know, Since we don't know. that day or that hour, yeah. we need to prepare ourselves yeah. at all times. All the time. Amen. I need to be ready all the time. All the time. I can't afford, amen, to have a lapse of judgment at the wrong time. Amen. Because the moment I want to act crazy and, un and unseemly, man, it might be the moment he decides to come get me. Yeah. And whatever way he finds me, that's the way I'm going to end up. Mm. 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 Mr. Devil, however he, he finds me, if he finds me in a fit of rage that day, right. cussing everybody out, it ain't going to be pretty. Right. Find me in the wrong hotel yeah. with the wrong person. You might have done it a thousand times and never got and never died from it, but that time you happen to have a massive heart attack and die instantly. Just that quick, you out of here. Ain't got a time to say nothing. Just gone instantly. I, I, I see people all the time. What is this new vaping thing? I, I just don't understand that. I just never understood it. And they look like death walking after they've been on it for a few months. I'm serious. It look like it look like their eyes start getting dark around the ring part of it, and, and, and they, they, their complexion starts changing, and they be just. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the car the car be like a white cloud. I, think, I thought cigarettes were bad, but that stuff is addictive, one. And I'm saying to myself, death, amen, 
man is riding in the car with him and they don't even know it. Come on, Bishop. Never know when they're going to snatch their last breath. Amen. People take chances. Amen. They needlessly take chances with their lives, Sister Mary, every day. I'm almost through. Read, read. Not even the read. angels in heaven. Not even the angels in heaven. Tell your neighbor, David, not even the angels in heaven. That's why all these folks talking to angels better be careful. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Come on here. That's, 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 you know, that's the new thing in this, age, this generation. Yes. Everybody talking to angels now. Yep. I got news for you. Better be, be, you better be careful what angels you're talking to. Because Satan and his boys were angels they made before, before they were cast out. And they sound just like. Yeah. And everybody now has all this wisdom and knowledge now yeah. and from talking with these so called beings. Yeah. But it's amazing to me that the majority of them are leading people away from Christ and not to Christ. So it doesn't matter what they're saying. If they're not saying this, I ain't listening. And if they know you're not going to listen to them, they will leave you. Amen. But if they know they got an ear that will hear what they got to say, they're going to keep on, amen, sowing into you. Yes. Until one day, you won't know what to believe. Amen. And we have a generation of Christians that don't know what to believe. I've never seen Christians, amen, so ignorant of the word of God. Because they don't spend quality time in the word of God. They are unprepared. For the attack that's coming. Amen. They are unprepared for the attacks that are on the way. Jesus. The enemy, amen, is pressing him in with his last line of offense, amen, against the children of God because he knows his time is limited. Amen. And therefore, he's coming, amen, with a deceptive word. Amen. And that word, amen, is so close to the word yeah. 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 that if you don't know the word, Right. Even the very elect will be deceived. Right. Go ahead. Not only the angels in heaven, but not the sun. So what? Uh, not uh, so. Hold up. That's what it says. What verse that is? Verse 36. Is that in y'all Bible? Yes, yeah. it is. Nobody <laughs> but of that day and hour, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. only. But my Father only. Only. Now, I and my Father are one. So when you know Jesus, you know the Father. When you know the Father, you know. For the Father and the Son are the same. Yes. And that statement, amen, almost got him stoned yes. one day yes. in his hometown. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. You got to understand something, amen. When he said, I and my Father are one, he's saying, I and my Father are one. one. Yes. They are the same. That's right. The one, amen, is not without the other. They are together. They've always been together and they will always be amen. together. Amen. As one. Yes. It is a hard saying, Jesus told his disciples, but I, by the Holy Spirit, will reveal it. Look at his neighbor. Without the baptism of the Holy Ghost. People won't see that truth. Tell you one, tell your neighbor another side, say, neighbor, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you won't see that truth. And if you don't see that truth, you can't receive that truth. Hope y'all getting this. Hope y'all getting this. Hope y'all getting this. It's good teaching. Hope y'all getting this. Yes, it is. Oh, read, 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 read. As it was in the days of Noah. As it was in the days of Noah. So it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. So it will be at the coming of man. Okay, let's let's let's, let's examine this. In yes. Noah's day, amen, when he was building the ark, mm -hmm. they laughed at him for 120 years. Yes. Said he was crazy, yeah. ignorant, need to be institutionalized, yeah. the lost his mind. Yes. It took him a few years, amen, to convince his own family that he wasn't crazy. Yeah. Can't get no help right now. 
the wife, amen, looking at him, amen, building a boat, amen, on dry land where there was no rain yes. ever in existence at, up to that time. Come on now, make it wow. plain, make it wow. plain. Wow. If there had been some rain like we've been getting this, like, these last few years, amen, where flooding is going everywhere, you, you might have been almost, you know, convinced to believe it, but yeah. up until that time, there had never been any rain. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. Think about it now. No rain ever recorded up until that time. Amen. And you tell your wife and your sons and their wives, we got to build a boat. A big boat. <laughs> a huge boat. On dry land. What you talking about? So here are we telling folks, you need to come into the house of God. Time is running out. Yeah, yeah. And they're saying, you done lost your mind. Yeah. Nobody going to church anymore. And that's, the, I don't know about y'all, but on the job where I'm at right now, working part time, I, I, I'm amazed at what I hear, yeah. Sister Mary. I understand. So, so little knowledge of God, I mean, that people have nowadays in, in these last two generations. They have so little knowledge of God. And the conversation that they have, I'm saying, Really? You believe that? They don't go to church. They have never been going to church. They don't see what church is relevant. Sister Mary, the church isn't relevant for this generation. That's their conversation. Church has nothing to offer me. And I'm saying, you must not be going to the right church. Because no. <laughs> church has everything to offer us, supply for us, to give us, amen, to encourage us, to embolden us, amen, to believe that all things are possible. When I come to the house of God, we are one of the few churches in Ocala, Mary County, that still testify. Yeah. And it amazes me that every time we come to church on Tuesday and Sunday, man, you got to beg folks to testify. Yeah. Do you understand the importance of testifying? Yeah. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by our testimony. Yeah. If you don't testify, man, how are you going to overcome? Come on, we need to remind ourselves every week what God has done for us and yeah. talk about it openly among the brethren. Amen. Yeah. Right, but it's right. Yes. Got a big folks to testify. Right. And it's you have the opportunity to give God the glory. That's right. Yeah. You only you can tell your story. That's I can't right. tell your story. Right. Sister Mary, I've been knowing you for, since I was a little kid. Yep. And I still don't know your story. That's right. right. I only know, amen, your story by your testimony. Yeah. What God has done in your life. Yeah. You may not think it's important, but to somebody else, amen, that's going through the same stuff that you've been going through. Yeah. That God brought you out of, you encouraging them that hang on in there, sis. Hang in there, brother. Because God brought me through it, he'll bring you out of it too. Yes, MD. But if we don't tell it, amen, they won't know it. Yes, right. Sister says they won't know it. They won't know it. They won't know the many times, amen, that God brought you out. I used to tell Sandy, Sandy's coming in on Sunday morning, he said, Pastor, so and so, so. I think Sandy, he brought you out before, he'll bring you out again. So true. How, how many of that's how we encourage ourselves? Yeah, if, he, right. if he did it one time, he can do it again. Yeah. If he did it that time, do it he'll do it again. Yeah. If, if he made that way, he'll make another way. Yeah. If he opened that door, he'll open another door. If he shut that one, he'll open another one. If he open that one, yeah. he'll shut another one. Whatever God got to do in our lives, he's done it so many yeah. times yeah. till we ought to be confident. Yeah. No, that's right. That's why nothing shakes me. Nothing shakes me. If he did it one time, he do it again. Bad reports don't shake me. Bad stuff that happens in my life don't shake me. I've been in this thing for 46 years, amen, and he has never failed me yet. Now, everybody going to have trials. Look at them and they you too. Come on, look at him. Look right at him and say, you too. You going to have some stuff to go through? I'm going to have some stuff to go through, yes. but we ain't building no house while we going through. Yes. We going through to the other side. Yes. 
We ain't staying in the valley. We ain't staying in that mess. We coming out the other side. Yes, with my hands raised up. Ah, glory. Not staying there. I'm coming Woo! out. I'm coming out and with my hands raised up to the Lord. Yes. He has given me victory once again. Yes. He gave me victory once again. He gave me victory once again. That's Lord, amen, was going through her chest, amen. And God showed her, amen, I have not forgotten you. I have not forgotten you. I have never failed you. He doesn't work on our time clock. We work on his. Whatever God got to do in our lives, he knows exactly how long to leave us in. My wife was cooking on the other day, amen. And I used to wonder how in the world she knows exactly when to go back to that stove and that food ready. All right. Because she's a master cook. <laughs> if you ain't no cook, you don't know. You, you burn stuff up. <laughs> but if you're a cook, you know exactly when to go back to the stove. So God know exactly when to come back and get you out of the fire. I can't, I can't get up. He know exactly when to come back and get us out of the fire. He ain't going to let you overcook. He ain't going to let you undercook. He's going to get you right when you taste just the best. And he's going to bring you back out of the fire. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory. He's a master cook. 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 He's a master. He knows exactly how long to leave me in and base me. Amen. Over and over again. So when I come out, I taste good. We need some Christians that taste good. We need some Christians that taste seasoned. Hallelujah. I don't want you coming out, amen, and you ain't cooked well. You still half done and half raw. And, uh, no, no, no. I want, I, want you, I want you well cooked, amen. But when you come out, amen, you juicy, yeah. but done. Come on, <laughs> come on now. I don't want no fiddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Those are my cook the whole time. You know, I can't stand going to restaurants where they cook the food because they scared, they scared everybody's a diabetic or got high blood pressure, man. No ain't got no season. I don't care, and I don't care how much salt and pepper you put on something, it is not the same. It got to be cooked in it. And if it ain't cooked in it, Sister Mary, it don't taste the same. So if God cooks us, amen, and he seasons us well, amen, so that we taste good to know that we come in contact with. When we open up our mouths, the right words come out. When we open up our, our heart, amen, the right love come out. We, everything is great, amen, so that when they come in our presence, they don't want to leave our presence. Come on now. I, was, I, was, I, was, I get in so much trouble with y'all. <laughs> Sister Mary, I'm so used to having all the time I want you to talk to <laughs> <laughs> they come on the job, something happened, there, and they be following around and stuff. Like, we need to walk because I can't stay here and talk to you like that. You're going to get me fired. But they don't want to They don't want to talk. I think mean, we got to talk and walk. <laughs> You're going to get me fired. <laughs> but that's the way it should be. They should want to be around you. They should want to be in your presence. If you taste good, they want to be. They, they want to. They want to chomp, chomp on you a little bit, chew on you a little bit. But if you don't taste good and you ain't got no good season to you, they don't want to be around you. So, I, if, if you, ever, you ever smelled something, man? You didn't quite know what it was. <laughs> you, you thought you were smelling some fried chicken, but it didn't smell like fried chicken. Cause they, cause they, cause they used the grease that they had cooked the fish in. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all cooks, cooks know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all don't know. You know, you, know how you, you don't do what you're supposed to do. You know, you, you, you know, you're supposed to get fresh grease, you know, and, and, and fry your chicken up, man. Pull that grease out. Get some fresh grease and cook your fish in. Yes, you get something that don't taste quite like chicken and quite like fish. It tastes like something. <laughs> and when you walk in the kitchen, you don't know what you smell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's alright to have a little fun in the house of God. <laughs> you know, and that's the way some people, they mean, uh, as, as saints of God, I'm serious. As saints of God, we, we confuse folks. They come in our presence, they don't know what they, you know, what, one minute you, 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 you save and the next minute you ain't save. And one, one minute you're talking right, and the next minute you're talking crazy. And one, one minute you're you, you, you acting right, and the next minute you're acting like somebody else. They don't, they don't know what they're looking at. They don't know what they're, that's right. 
So we don't need to be confused with folks. Ten years ago, don't confuse people. Be the same. Say that again. Can you say that again? Tell them that don't confuse them. Stay the same. If God working on you, act like God working on you. You know, act like He working on you. You know, you know, we ain't perfect yet, but act like He working on you. Cause some folks act like God ain't doing nothing in their life. They were cussing five years ago and they're still cussing. <laughs> Amen. They were telling lies ten years ago and they're still lying. They, they, don't, they don't know what they're looking at. I mean, you're saying one thing, but, but they're, they're looking at something else. and they're, they're, You're confusing them. So we need to make sure our light so shine before me. My prayer is every morning, my prayer is help me to let my light so shine before me. That's right. That's right. That they see my good works. Yes. Because that's what you want them to see. Your yes. good works. Yes. We all got problems. We all got issues. But yes. you want them to see our good works. Yes. So they'll glorify our Heavenly Father, which is in heaven. Yes. My job, man, is to let my light shine. Yes. Tell you to let your light shine. Let your light shine. Come on, let your light shine. Let your light shine. So men can see your good work. Men can see your good Not your bad stuff. Not your bad Keep that covered up real good. Yes, sir. Yield that to God only. Yes, sir. It, you, you know, uh, James Bond had a movie years ago about for your eyes only. Yeah. No, that should be for you, for God's eyes and ears only. That bad stuff. Give it to Him in secret prayer, Amen, and let Him work it out in your life. But when you go out your four doors in the morning, let them see your good work. Amen. There's enough bad stuff going on in the world, Amen. and we don't want to confuse nobody. Amen. I don't want to confuse people. Amen. I want to be the same every day Amen. and get better all the time. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, we need to finish this up. Go ahead. No, that's all right. <laughs> For in the days before the flood, in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking. They were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving in marriage. They were doing the same thing they're doing today. Up to the day Noah entered the ark. Up until the day that Noah entered the ark. Everything... That was going on Still. before the flood took place is going on now. now. Yes, Very important to catch this. Yes, yes. We don't know when he's coming. Right. Everything that was happening then is happening now. Yes. And more of it. Mm -hmm. Because there are more people on the planet than it was exactly. then. Amen. So there's much of the same stuff going on right now under our eyes yes. every day. Amen. Some things that we think are new are not new. Men were marrying men back then. Women were marrying women back then. Children were being molested back then. People were being raped and killed back then. There's nothing new under the sun. The only thing is, is that people are sleeping when they should be wide awake. Yes, sir. Noah was one of the few that was woke. As a matter of fact, he was the only one during that season that was woke. He could still hear the voice of God. And when God spoke, he knew exactly who it was that spoke to him. And he said, what do you say, Lord? And the Lord said, I need you to build me a, an ark. <laughs> now, the thing about it is, God knew when to speak to Noah. If he just spoke to Noah two months earlier, two months later, Noah might not have done it. Amen. But he knew exactly when to speak to Noah. Amen. And Noah said, yes, Lord, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Lord, I never built an ark before. Uh -huh. I don't know how to do it. Yes. Don't worry about it, Noah. I'll show you everything you need to know. All right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. And step by step, he showed him how to build what he had never built yes, he did. before. Yes. Wow. As people passed by day after day and saw him starting from scratch, they laughed 
every day. They really began to laugh when they saw how big of a boat he was building. The sad thing about it was the boat was really for them. They're laughing at the church now, saying the church is irrelevant. But the church is the ark. The church, the body of Christ is the ark. That's right. And they're laughing, saying it's irrelevant. It's never rained before. It's never flooded before. We don't need a boat. We don't need an ark. I've never needed the church. I got more than the church members got. I got more than the church is offering. I got all of this on my own. Come on, boy. Break it down. Make it plain. I don't need the church. I got plenty of money. I got plenty of cars. I got pl big, fancy house. I got more than I need. I don't need God. And God didn't help me get none of it. That's what they say. That's how ignorant people are. He didn't help me get none of it. I didn't recognize him. I didn't acknowledge him. I did it on my own. The thing about it is, they talk that trash until sickness hit their body. A persecution arrives. A strife happens. And then all of a sudden, they realize they're not all that in a bag of chips. That they need this God. They, they need this God. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Yeah.